What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com back with another Blender modeling tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about a few different ways to model some different kinds of roofs inside of Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first thing to note as we do this is there are multiple different ways to get a lot of these results. So there are other ways to do these as well, but these should get you started for creating a few different kinds of roofs. So to start off, we're gonna create a simple roof, um, the gable. So to do that, we're gonna start by adding a mesh. We'll go ahead and move it up a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off and for this one, we're gonna start by modeling the roof as a part of this object. So we could also come in here and draw a separate plane and draw the roof that way, but I wanna go ahead and just make it as a part of this geometry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tab into edit mode and then I'm just going to do a control R in order to add a loop cut right here. So then I'm gonna click and then I'll right click in order to place that. So what we've done is we've split this whole thing into a loop. Well now, what I wanna do is I wanna select this edge by clicking on it. I just wanna move it up by tapping the G key. Then we'll just lock it to the blue axis by tapping the Z key. So now what we have is we have our base shape right here. Well, what we need to do with our base shape is we need to extrude this so that we have a roof because roofs usually have a thickness, right? So you could just kind of leave it like this and add shingles to it, but it wouldn't look very realistic. So in order to do this, I'm just going to tap the three key to go into face select mode. And I'm just going to do a shift click and select both of these faces. And so from here, there's really two ways you could go about this. And maybe what I'll do is I'll duplicate this so you can see both of them. So first off, I'm going to make a copy right here. So the first way we're going to do this is we're going to select both of these and we're just going to extrude them up. So we're just going to tap the E key and then the Z key. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow us to extrude this up so that our roof has a little bit of thickness. And then from here, what we want to do is we need these to hang down a little bit on the sides, right? So there's usually little overhangs on a roof. And so what we need to do is we need to create the geometry that's gonna allow us to do that. So I'm gonna click this edge or this face and I'm gonna do a shift click and I'm gonna select this face. And you can't use the extrude tool right now. So um, because that'll get us kind of some weird results, they'll both go in one direction. What I wanna do instead is with both of these selected, I just wanna click and hold over here and click on extrude along normals. And then I can click and drag this and what this is gonna do is it's gonna extrude these out um, along the face normal. So in this case, it's gonna extrude it out this way. In this case, it's gonna extrude it out this way. And then I'm just gonna to go to the front view. I'm gonna tap the G key and then the Z key. I'm gonna move these until this is pretty much aligned. And so we're almost done. What we need to do here though, is we need to add a little bit of overhang because usually these are gonna overhang um, off of a roof on the front and back side. So to do that, I'm just gonna select my faces. And then we're just gonna use the extrude along normals tool in order to extrude all of this at once. So I'm just gonna click and drag this like this. And then we can actually set the overhang right here. So I could type in a value of like negative three or whatever. Obviously the dimensions are a little bit off. But what that's done is that's allowed us to create this easy gable roof. Well, the other way we could go about this, because we talked about this a little bit, is instead of extruding these up like we did before, so we extruded these up, then we extruded the edges out, we could use the extrude along normals in order to do this. So if we extrude this up like this, notice how what this does is this extrudes this up, but these edges get extruded along the normals, meaning they get extruded out here. Well, now we can just select these two faces and we can just extrude them down this way and then we can extrude these out again so that's a couple quick ways to create a gable roof so let's keep going though um so there's a there's a kind of roof that usually goes on top of a barn or something like that you might see it on a shed as well called a gambrel roof. And so to create a gamble roof, gambrel roof, what we're going to do is we're going to start by adding another rectangle or another cube like this. Well, in this situation, what we want to do is we want to add more loop cuts. So we're going to tab into edit mode and then we're just going to do a control R, but this time we're going to scroll our mouse up until we get three loop cuts instead of just one. So once we've done that, 
we can click right click in order to place this. And so for this one, what we want to do is we want to do the exact same thing that we did before, where we want to move these up, right? But in this case, we want to move this up to about here. Then we want to move these edges up about here. And you can see how when we did that, what that does is that gives us a barn roof. Alternatively, if we wanted to, we could select this and then we could turn on proportional editing. Basically, proportional editing is going to set this so that not only if we adjust this one object is it going to change, but the other objects are going to change as well. So notice how if I tap that G key right now, um, everything is kind of moving along with this. So I'm going to tap the Z key to lock it to this axis. And notice how we have this circle in here. And I can adjust the size of the circle by scrolling my mouse wheel. So you can see that you get a stronger or weaker effect depending on how big this proportional editing object is. So if you did want to adjust this um, all at once, you could use proportional editing. But in any case, we're going to go ahead and we're going to set this. And so now we have our general shape and we're just going to do the same thing we did before. So I'm going to tab into object mode or edit mode. I'm going to select these faces and then I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to extrude these along normals. So when I extrude these along normals, it's going to extrude this out. Then we can do the same thing with these faces using extrude along normals like this. We can extrude those along our normals as well. So that's an easy way to create a gambrel roof. Well, now let's talk about a more complicated roof. So a hip roof is a roof where um, your roof goes up but then your edges kind of go inward. So let's go ahead and let's do that. And so for this one, I want to start by creating my cube. Let's go ahead and let's scale this one. So it's kind of a longer building. So something like this. And so in this situation, because I want this to go outward from this face, I think it's going to be easier if I just add a rectangle on top of this. One thing I'm going to do in order to make this work a little bit better is I'm going to turn on snapping. So I'm going to set this to snap to vertices. I'm going to turn snapping on. You can also do a shift tab in order to do that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a plane. I'm going to align this plane with this corner. Then I'll tab into edit mode. And I'll just move these edges so that they align with these edges. So now I have two objects in here, right? I have the plane that's going to make up my roof, and I have the cube that makes up my building. Well, what I want to do first is I want to scale this plane out a little bit. And so one thing that's going to make this easier before I scale this is I'm just going to set my object origin to my center of mass on my surface. That way when I scale this outward, it'll scale it uniformly from a central point. But what we've done is we've just scaled this out using the scale tool. Now I'm going to tab into edit mode and I'm going to extrude this up just a bit. I want to make sure I have the face selected, not that one edge. So I'm just going to tap the E key and extrude this up just like this. And then I'm going to extrude it up again. So I'm going to extrude this to whatever I want the height of my roof to be. So maybe something like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this in. So I'm just going to tap the S key in order to scale this a little bit. And so by scaling this in, what we're getting is we're getting this slope backwards a little bit, just like this. But this still doesn't quite do what we want it to do, right? It's got this big flat space in here. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to vertex editing mode. So we're going to type one. And then I'm just going to select these two vertices. I'm going to right click and I'm going to merge these vertices at center. So what that's going to do is that's going to take these two vertices and it's going to merge them at the central point between the two vertices. Then we do the same thing over here. So we'll do a click a shift click, and then we'll right click, merge vertices at center. So what that gives us is that gives us this roof in here over this building. And note how we don't have a face on the inside here. You could just do a alt click and type F to fill in a face in there. But that allowed us to create a simple hip roof. So now let's say that we wanted to create a hip roof, but let's say that our building had to turn a corner. 
right? So let's say it's more of a complex hip roof. So what we wanna do in that situation is we'll start by roughing out our layout. And so what this gives us is this gives us a building that turns a corner. Well, let's start by adding a rectangle that lines up with this. So we'll just do a shift A, we'll add a plane, move that plane so it aligns here. And so with this situation, what I wanna do is I just want to start by modeling out this straight part of the roof, right? So it's basically gonna be like this, but on top of this object right here. So I'm just gonna move this so that it aligns here, move this so that it aligns here, and we'll just do the same thing we did before. So object, center of mass, scale it out, tab into edit mode, extrude this up, extrude it up again. So, so far we're just following the steps that we just talked about, right? So we'll scale it in a little bit, merge our vertices at the center. So we'll right click, merge vertices at center. All right, so, so far what we have is nothing special. The trick here though, is we wanna take this face and extrude it along here in order to create the other piece of our roof. And so what we wanna do in order to do this is we need to split this up so that it's an extra face, right? And so the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm probably gonna look at this from the top down, but I wanna create a knife cut from probably this point right here to this point right here. So we're basically roughing out the way that our roof is gonna look. So in order to do this, all we have to do is tap the K key to activate the knife tool. I'm just gonna click here, and I'm gonna click here. And then you can hit enter in order to finalize this. And so basically what we've done is we've come in here and we've split this up so that we have two different faces, right? Well now, we can come in here and we can select these two vertices by doing a click and a shift click, right clicking, and merge these at center. And so when we merge these at center, what that's gonna do is that's gonna give us a face right here that we can extrude. And I'm just gonna go to top down mode. I'm just gonna extrude this along the Y axis. So what that's done, and you may wanna put this in wireframe mode, what that's done is that has extruded this out so that we have a roof that runs around this corner. Solid mode may show that to us a little bit better. And so from here, there's nothing stopping you from going in and just cleaning everything up, right? So if I go look at this, right, and I turn on wireframe mode, you can see how you may get a little more overhang here than you have here. So you can just kind of move everything around, get everything aligned the way that you want it to be. So you may want to move some things. You may also want to select some things and move them in and out like this. So you can use this to kind of finalize that just by selecting edges and then moving them around. You can see how this one's a little bit more complex than the others. So now let's talk about if we had like a hexagonal gazebo or something like that. So let's do a shift A and we're going to add a cylinder in this case. So for the cylinder we want it to have six vertices and we'll go ahead and we'll make the radius bigger We'll make the depth bigger. Maybe we'll make the depth and the radius a little bit smaller. There we go. And so what we have here is we have this hexagonal shape. Well, we wanna take this hexagonal shape, we wanna make a roof that comes off of this. Well, the first thing we need to do is tab into edit mode and select this face. And then I'm gonna type the, so I'm gonna type the E key to extrude this. But in this situation, I wanna type the S key for scale, right? So extrude scale is gonna allow me to extrude this outward, right? So instead of extruding this up, it's gonna allow me to extrude this out like this. Well, once you have this kind of in here and selected, you can select this face. So you can type three to go to face select mode. And so then I'm just gonna extrude this up like this. And what we wanna do is we just wanna do the same thing we did before. So we're gonna go into vertex select mode, drag a box across these vertices, then right click, do a merge vertices at center. So you can see how creating that gazebo style roof is really easy. So another kind of roof, 
is let's say we had like a shed. So let's say we had a shed with a sloping roof. So for this one, it's actually fairly simple. You just tab into this object, type two to go into edge select mode. We're gonna move this up like this. And then from here, you've got options, right? So you can extrude this along your surface normals if you want to. You can do an ES to extrude this out. And then extrude that up like this. And again, notice how you can adjust your thickness over here. Like this. So creating this sloping roof is really easy. So let's say we wanted to add a dormer in this roof over here, right? So let's say it was like a little additional, like tiny little roof piece that was coming off of this. Well, the way that we could do that is we can add a cube. So we'll add a cube right here and we'll kind of scale it down until we get the size of cube that we want. And then we're just going to align that with our roof. So I'm gonna move this up. Cross, you can kind of size it however you want. Like this, I'm just gonna move this until the bottom of it kind of aligns with the bottom of my roof right here. Well now, and I may move this down a little bit more. So we've got our cube inside of our roof. Well now we just do what we did before for our uh, gable roof over here, right? So we just tab into edit mode, split this with a control R, move this up, select our faces, extrude them along our surface normals like this. We extrude these along our surface normals as well. And then the only thing that's really different here is we're gonna extrude these front ones out like we did before. These back ones, instead of extruding it out, I'm just gonna move these faces until they align with my roof, right? So I'm gonna look at this. I'm just gonna move these back along the Y axis until I'm sure that they've intersected with my roof like this. So then if I click off of this, you can see how you've got this nice little dormer inside of your roof without a whole lot of extra effort. So there are also some options and some add-ons like Archimesh for creating different kinds of roofs as well. But in this one, I wanted to just teach you how to work with the geometry. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Um, if you have any other methods that you use for creating roofs, I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.